It's an angry baby. Ah! Hello and welcome back to Double Back for Ammo. My name is Dan and welcome to part two of Dead Space. On the previous episode, Isaac and the crew of the Kellyon landed on board the USG Ishimura to try to figure out why there had been a communication blackout for so long and uh, fix it. So after fixing up the tram system for the captain and the computer analyst, we are now back here on board the ship and we are going to head back to the Kellyon and initiate repairs because our landing, if you remember, wasn't too easy. I heard that. Where did that come from? It was behind me, right? It's always behind me. I'm ready for behind me now. I remember this mess. What is that noise? Do I really want to get on this elevator? Okay, let's give it a shot. There's one. Yep, he just took off. Not sure where he's going. Okay, I mean, all right, am I really, I'm supposed to keep going that way? I guess I should be like concerned about my crew and going out there to save them. Oh man. Okay, so now I have to walk under that hole. Oh boy. Stop. Oh. Good thing they make a lot of noise. I mean, I really wouldn't have known he was back there if these guys were quiet at all. Alright, uh, maybe I can go now? Oh, I remember this room. Why is everything in there shaking? Alright. What do you think is going to happen in this room? Isaac, we made it to the bridge. It's... There's no survivors. Daniels is trying to get into the command computer. Ah. Just wanted to make sure those lockers are empty. Alright, here we are, back at the... back at the Kellyan. There we go, that's how we run. I was trying to remember what the run button was. Oh, we're taking a break. Get a good angle. Shimura's overrun with the fucking monsters. You didn't hear anything? Huh? No, the comms are still out. Isaac. We need to kill him fixed now. Got a damage report? Uh, yeah, it, it's there. Alright, let's see what we got here. Mm -hmm. Is that the ship? The ship that I'm on? Oh, crud. Oh. Oh, no, it killed her. You bastard.
crud. Wait, just wait there. I'm reloading. Okay. <laughs> Isaac, what's happening down there? Johnson's gone. They kill you two. Ah, oh, man. The Singularity Corps overloaded. <sighs> no! Kellyan was our only way home. We're trapped. No! I'm not losing two good people for nothing. No! I'm not losing two good people for nothing! It's a brick. All the primary systems are locked down with the captain's codes. So we find Captain Matthias. Track his rig. <laughs> okay, here. Captain Benjamin Matthias. Location medical. That it? Okay, Status that's all I got. Deceased? Even the captain? God. Isaac, you're closer to medical. You can double back and cut through maintenance. Find double the back. body and get his rig. With his codes, <laughs> we... What was that? Chen? So is that supposed to be Jen the crewman is now one of the monsters? All right, get to the medical deck. Okay, we're going back the way we came. What new kind of? Okay, it's really dark in here now. Light deck, tram station. Okay. Bathroom. Do we want a chance another bathroom? There's probably some extra stuff in there though. What was that? Alright, cool. Credits. Oh, this is a noisy bathroom. Okay. Some more credits. All right, now I'm out of here. I don't like all this hissing and stuff. That's too much atmosphere for me. <laughs> all right, and then this way. Uh, all right, taking another elevator here. <sighs> Man, those textures look great. Okay. Wow, this is a big room. Alright, locked. Store! Ah, oh, we can finally use our credits. Awesome. Alright, let's see. Uh ooh. So we've got we've got enough credits already to buy is this a suit? Suit level two. Increases your inventory capacity to 18 slots. Provides 5% armor. Nice. Okay, and then the rest of the stuff. Unique circuit node. Oh, you can buy a node. Okay. Alright, so, I mean, what do you think? Should I buy, like, a whole new suit? Yeah, yeah. I think I'm gonna go ahead and buy the new suit. I mean, why not, right? Who knows, I'm probably wasting a lot of money and maybe you get the suit for free at some uh, story point in the game. Well, let's check it out. Oh, cool. Oh, that was very cool. Okay. So we look about the same, is that it? Alright, well we can't afford any of this anymore. Alright, just stop stop and look at me for a second. Alright, is the suit actually different? I can't tell, but uh whoop wrong. God, I'm always pushing the wrong thing. Um yeah, alright, so we have got a greatly expanded inventory uh we can now hold a whole bunch more items. So I think it was totally worth it. Ooh, stompy boxes. Glad I didn't buy any plasma energy, that's for sure. Aw. These poor guys are dead. Oh, am I on, like, so I'm on a tram platform, is that it? Is that 
Oh, so that's the room I was in over there. They're right there, what I'm pointing at. That's that's the save point over there in that room. And yep, right down there is my crazy flapping door. Oh, I heard something. Okay, and then there's a bench. Did I get any more nodes? I can't remember. Nope. All right. Upgrade graph extended. Okay. Might be worth checking out. Oh, yeah. They've sort of arranged everything a little bit differently here. Cool. Okay. Well, it's too bad I don't have any nodes to put in there, but, uh, you know, I, I like checking out the upgrades every chance I get. All right. Let's save. Okay, yeah, I mean, do I... Yeah, I don't have much of a choice. Here we go. long corridor. My paranoia is coming back. Oh, here we go. You can always get back some bullets. You can kind of count on that, huh? All right. I am on the medical deck now. Okie doke. Chapter one complete. Chapter two, intensive care. Retrieve the captain's rig. Is that it? No, this is a kinesis module. Okay. Okay, so what do I do here? Okay, that's cool. What was this? Is somebody's torso is crammed up there? That's kind of crazy. All right, so now what do I want to do? Okay. What do I do about that one? Let's see. Do I move that one that way? Huh. Excuse me while I move my lawn furniture. Small med pack is nice. All right, so I think what I want to do, excuse me, go over there. Uh, yeah, I think... No, it won't move? I thought it would move that way. Does this one move that way? Oh, uh, okay. Oh, it won't move anymore. I kind of don't understand. Okay, I probably... Just sort of screwing around with nothing here. There we go. I knew there was something back there. Ron Semiconductor. What is that about? Well, here I go pushing the wrong menu again. A rare electrical component? Sell at the store for credits. All right, cool. That's like money in my pocket. Don't let them out? Should I... Should I not open the door? Don't let them go oh. the line. They all came back. 
What's what's with this hand? Oh, there's like something stabbed through her. There's like a hand with a protrusion that stabbed through her. I got a rifle. Nice. Okay, so what does that mean? Okay, hang on. I'll get used to these controls one of these days. Military assault rifle with a high rate of fire. With a proximity mine. Costs 25 rounds. Fascinating. So I can fire something. Um, Alright, equip. Right there looks good. That's fine. Oh, there we go. That is a much more normal little crosshair there. Well, it's more like what I'm used to at any rate. And we got pulse rounds. Cool. Alright, now we're up to 50. So now we get to start getting the new type of armor, I guess. Credits. And what is this? Plasma. Is that more whispering? They better explain that. That better not just be there just to mess with you. Okay, alright. What does this mean? Override station lockdown. Oh, here we go. Oh. Thank you for your patience. Very cool. Okay. What's going on over here? Not much. Alright, let's save real quick. Alright, so what do I do on here? Okay, very cozy, very nice. Alright, current station is medical. And I can go back to the hangar. Okay, so that's it. So, the tram station that I was at before, I could literally go back to that one right now if I wanted to. Okay. Ah, there was two doors back here. Yeah. Okay, so that's where I was moving the boxes around. Alright, here we go. Ooh, somebody left a mess. Oh, that's a body. <laughs> Sorry, dude. So I'm starting to wonder if, like, uh, the kinesis and the uh, and the other one can be used in combat in different ways, and I think I'm going to try to mix it up a little bit. So now, if I do, like, yeah, okay, you can pick up stuff and launch it. Okay, that is a lot of fun. Alright, I like that. Yes, and again, I'm kind of reminded of that other game, which I'm going to quit mentioning by name. Uh-oh, big hole up there. Let's not walk under that. Okay. Dude, you scared the crap out of me. No, nothing. Medical's a slaughterhouse. They barricaded access to the morgue. The morgue? Yeah, but the barricade was put together in a hurry. A hydrazine tank might blow it open. Just need a detonator, like maybe a shock pad. Nicole could be through there if... Isaac, the one who attacked us. I swear to God it was Chen. But I saw him die. Dude, I don't know what to tell you. If they barricaded the morgue, maybe it was to keep something in. Hmm. <laughs> okay, let's go find out. All right, so this is the barricade that I think we want to uh, break. I think that's what I was just talking about. Find a hydrazine tank, find a shock pad. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Wow, there's another safe station. Pretty good. All right, stompy things here in the corner. And some more credits over here. Hey, and another store. Cool. All right, and I got something to sell, so let's uh, let's go sell this. This thing. Here we go. Two thousand dollars. Two thousand credits. Wow. Very cool. Very rare electrical component, I guess. Yeah, absolutely. Evacuate this area immediately. Probably some stuff in here. Oh man, this is gruesome. Oh, somebody just got torn apart in here. Alright, 
let's see. So this one is probably security level two. Pulse rounds. And credits. Okay. Hey. Where does my hand tell me where to go? Always follow the hand. <laughs> Imaging Diagnostic Swing. There's that... There's that whispering again. They better explain that. That's all I'm saying. Okay, oh, what are they doing? What is that? Oh, dude. Okay, is he about to turn into something? Because I don't think I want that to happen. Stasis recharge. There is more of that whispering. Uh, listen, I'm sorry about this, but uh, I know you've had a rough time, but I can't have you coming back. <laughs> I think, yeah, we're heading that way, right? Diagnostics imaging. Okay. Okay, so it doesn't look like we can get in that room. Okay. Credits. Oh, is that like a coffee machine? <laughs> Good deal. Okay, so we gotta move this. There we go. Okay. Oh, what was that like? That was cool. Oh, that is really cool. He just broke out of a wall panel again. Why do they crawl around on the walls? They like it in there? Alright. Circuit breaker. I don't think I can use either one of these because there's something missing here. Is it this thing? What is in here? This seems like a side room with stuff in it, probably. Dude, what is... Oh my god. What? Ah! Alright, I got plenty of rounds, so don't consider it a waste. Oh no, did I stomp on- Oh, I stomped on the dude! <laughs> Sorry, dude! Alright, uh... Oof. Hey, a node! Cool. Alright. Oh, a bench, so we can upgrade my suit or my, uh... What, let's see what else. Oh, now we can upgrade my pulse rifle, too. So we can upgrade the capacity to start with and then the damage. I don't know, I just got it. I don't really even know what I'm trying to do with it, but uh, all right, so capacity, capacity again, or reload time. We could like reduce the reload time. Hmm, uh, what can we do with my suit? Air. So I've been thinking about the air part and uh, I, think, I think I'm gonna go with the air. I think, uh, I think I might be needing some air at some points during this whole mission. What does that say? Hey, it's okay to be effed up. <laughs> okay. It's okay. It's okay. It is okay to be effed up. It's just like in a situation like this, that's not what you really expect to see, right? Alright, let's get out of here and go back to finding our hydrazine tank. Alright, so... 
I'm going to try to put this in the hole. Hey, all right, it worked. Okay, so now doors or elevators? Up on the lift we go. Oh, crud. Where is he at? Uh, stasis! Nice! Oh, I like it. But he's still... Ah! Okay, so yeah, I used up some of my stasis though in freezing him. I didn't, I guess, I don't know, he got to me too quickly and I didn't really maximize what I was doing there, my whole attack, uh, but I'll get better at it, I promise. All right, uh, yeah, big circle. Okay, so, hey, okay, cool, found some ammo at the edge there. Uh, what do I do about this? What do I do about this? Oh, can I pull that thing over here? Sure enough. Okay. Oh my god. And behind me? <laughs> I am all, after the last time, I am always going to check behind me right after I encounter something in front of me. Infidels, it says. Infidels. That's interesting. All right. Uh, nope. Nothing value there. There's a stompy box. Okay. Yeah, so what is this? Observation room? And it's telling us to go that way. So I'm going to go in the other room. So when you go the wrong way, you tend to find more stuff. Text log. All right, let's see if it's readable. Okay, medical log. Dr. B. Warwick, Chief Psych Officer. Sensory deprivation treatments. The diagnoses are stacking up as fast as I can file them. Sleep paralysis, hallucinations, nightmares, paranoia. I'm getting patients from all over the ship. No underlying causes showing up in an environmental analysis, foodstuffs, or radiation levels. I admit, I'm at a loss. Mercer says he and Kine are working on a hypothesis, so in the meantime, I'm treating the symptoms. I'm seeing some improvement with sensory deprivation treatments in our zero-g therapy pods, but the sheer number of patients we're managing bothers me. Those systems are old, and they need an overhaul. Boy, this guy's got a lot of thoughts. With so many pods active, I worry what might happen if there's a serious power surge down there, but nothing else seems to help. I suppose the odds are low enough. I'd rather attack, take a small calculated risk than have dozens of miners and engineers impaired around heavy machinery. Okay, glad we uh, glad we got through that. Not really sure what that told us. Maybe I'll uh, I'll just think about it. Oh, where are you going? You going up to one of the ceiling vents? Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay, and both of these are security level two boxes. So hopefully, I start getting uh, getting some higher security levels later. All right, let's go. Gonna break into the hallway now. <laughs> nice. Up. Why not? Let's have a save. Okay. Yep. All right. And what is that? To chemical and cryogenics lab. Okay. Oh, good. A long hallway. A little smoky down here in the, uh, Near the uh, zero G therapy room. Whoa! What? Oh, I'm running out of air. Entering zero gravity. 
Holy crow, where do I go? Oh, this is cool. I mean, it's just cool, but... There we go, there we go. Alright, so I'm running out of air, so I better move it. It would really stink if there's something important in this area that I'm supposed to be picking up. Alright, close the door. Ah. Alright, that was pretty cool. I like that little segment. That was, uh, was a little crazy. Alright, oh. To take off? Oh my god, that is cool. Oh hey, there's like a there's like a box there. So how am I gonna break that box when it's floating? There we go. Okay, are there any other boxes? Oh my god, you just lose all sense of direction. This is so cool. What a fun thing to do. Alright, which way was I going? Okay, so yeah, pointing me there. That's where I need to go. Good deal. Alright, uh, there we go. Ah, I was upside down. <laughs> Very cool. Alright, back to being defensive. Exiting zero gravity. Uh, is there an item up there on top of there? Yep, sure enough. <laughs> cool. Okay, so if you see an item on top of a shelf, whack it. All right, what do we got? Hydrazine canister. Still holding this position. What's happening there? Did you find Nicole? No sign of her yet. But I found some hydrazine that should work on the barricade. I just need to find a shock pad. Okay, work fast, Isaac. <laughs> Working fast is what I do not do. <laughs> Let's just clean them out. Absolutely. Entering zero gravity. Oh my god. What is it doing? Holy crud, is it coming over here? Very nice. Yeah, I blew that thing apart, man. Oh, that is awesome. That is really cool. Still, all right, so we're going back. I think we're going. What the hell? It shut the whole ship. I'll check it out. Entering you. Oh crap, what happened? Oh man, I have no idea where to go. Hey, alright. Yeah, you can reset your full pack there. Um. Man, is there any way to kind of control my pitch and yaw? Oh, hey, there's one of those. It's funny how I'm using one bullet to get several. Oh, fly! Ah! 
god, look at that thing. <laughs> Did I jump? <laughs> I bet I jumped. round schematics is that I guess that allows me to upgrade the the pulse rifle I'm very much a guy who goes and looks in every corner to try to find items uh, that way I don't have to double back for ammo subscribe that's scary Oh crap. There we go. Yeah. I think I leaned out of my camera. <laughs> I got really worked up right then and there. I mean, they just really kind of surrounded me. Got me angry. All right, so, ooh, I can't use my pulse power again, or whatever that's called, because, uh, um, hey, can I just hit these? Works just as well, great. All right, which way? That way? All right, so why wouldn't we go this way? Oh, that is where the guy banged himself, uh, beat himself to death on the glass. Yeah, that was unfortunate. That was pretty sad to watch that. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, this game does have like trigger warnings and I've got them turned off. Uh, so if some of this is disturbing to you, I'm sorry. This may not be your cup of tea though. Schematic submitted. Item now available for purchase. Pulse rounds. Okay. Oh, the item unlocked. So the schematic we got unlocked the item here. That's great. Yes, yeah, so now we can just buy them for a mere 1,250 credits. Wow. Yeah, so I've got a whole bunch of pulse rounds. No, I, yeah, a whole bunch of uh, pulse rounds and not a lot of plasma rounds. So I'm going to fix that by using this one from now on. Uh, all right, so where am I going? to find the other item. This way? Alright, we're going down here to find a shock pad. Lots of bodies. Another banging door. Okay, let's uh, use this conveniently placed stasis machine. If you go through that and it and it closes? Does that kill you, I wonder? I bet it does, even if it's in stasis, right? Sometimes those lights in my face kind of blind me. I can't really see where I'm going anymore. Okay, big room, big room. I don't know. Yep, yep, I didn't think. Hazardous anomaly detected. Okay. Quarantine activated. That's because there's, there's bugs in here. Ah! <laughs> okay. Nice. Boomstick. That is my boomstick. I like it. Oh, here comes another one. This one I'm just going to take apart in little pieces. Hey, don't get runny. Don't run up at me. Why can't I kill this one? What is with this one? Boy, these pulse... These individual pulse rounds kind of stink, don't they? Alright, well, at least these guys gave me more. Woof. I think I lost, like, a whole bar of health there. <laughs> uh, it looks like that person in there is being shocked. So I'm gonna guess that that's some kind of malfunctioning shock pad. 
Uh, we gotta figure out how... Oh, the room is in lockdown. It's in quarantine. And why is that? Is there more... There's more of the aliens in here, right? Or the mutants? What, do, what should we call them? Mutants? Alright. Uh, okay, I think we're trying to take this lift down, but... I think there's stuff over here. I'm gonna guess that we need to take that lift downstairs in order to fix this situation. Yep. Ugh. Okay, this one's just dragging along. There we go. Where else? Where else? There he is. Oh my god. Jesus. Come on. Ah. Ah. Holy crow. All right. Quarantine lifted. <laughs> no doubt. No doubt. I'm just going to keep stomping on things until I'm reloading. Okay, it's telling me to go through that door. Uh, what else is down here? Stasis recharge would be good. Oh no. No more bodies. Is this somebody's quarters or Nicole. somebody's office? It's me. Is, so this is my girlfriend's office? Nicole Brennan. Okay. Nicole, it's me. Sounded kind of sad and weird. Personal log, Dr. Nicole Brennan. With medication and zero G therapy, patient Harris is showing improvements. If this continues, there might be hope for the others on Aegis 7. However, Dr. Mercer continues to interfere. He claims Harris's delusions are religiously significant. Mm, if mm. I have to make a complaint, I will. I'm not losing my patient over unitology bullshit. Not again. Tracking rig signal. Dr. Nicole Brennan. Rig location? Inconclusive. Manual rig tracking is available. Investigate emergency room. Okay. Alright. An anonymized transcript, patient log, Dr. Nicole Brennan, senior medical officer, counseling session of three, transcript for patient, name redacted. Dr. Brennan, okay, dictation on. I'll keep your name out of the transcript. Jane Doe says, thanks. It's just so... Here's all those whispers again. Thanks, it's just so hard to remember what's real. Your church mentor talked to you again. He knows me and my girlfriend want to leave. I can feel it. Our last seminar was all about heretics. How every unitologist who leaves is an enemy of humanity. Unitology is big enough to take care of itself. This is about what's right for you. Just be careful. The church pulls out these tricks when they feel threatened. They have neuropsychiatrists too. Even if you get out, they'll try to... Dr. Brennan? Sorry, I... Did something happen? I had a patient who... I tried, and her son tried, so hard, but she, I will fight for you with everything I've got, with every, but never underestimate how strong the church's pull can be. Unitology. The Church of Unitology, okay. We, I will keep my eyes out for more info. If you didn't watch my last episode, keep in mind, I have never played Dead Space before, ever. No version of it. It's telling me to go that way, but do I want to? Do, do I want to? Yep, all right. Stasis pack. This little uh, trip to the bathroom is going great.
Creepy. Stasis pack schematics. Okay. Cool, now I can make my own stasis packs. Oh, and a bench. Uh, I don't think I got any more nodes recently, though. So it seems like a good time to say. Yeah, we're doing the right thing here, just making sure. Holy crow. Oh, what? What is that? Great. <laughs> Great. Another type of monster, huh? So it actually impaled him into the glass and held him there. I wonder if the same thing will happen to me. Ah, oh, my only choice is to go in the same room, huh? Great. There. There it is. Oh, what? Let's stick to this back wall here and see if any more crap is going to jump out. Wait a, wait a minute. There's babies swimming around in these chambers. What the hell were these guys doing up here? It's like a man and a woman in there. All right, that away. Oh, sorry, dude. Man, you have a really long neck. That's all I, you know, take it as a compliment. All right, uh, let's go upstairs. See what happens. Oh, look at this. This is like a rock. There we go, there we go. Yeah! What about this way? Okay. Is this an elevator? No. Okay. Yeah, it's just some little weird room. Alright, cool. Oh, a shower. It doesn't seem to be in working order. I'll have to get maintenance on that. I'll have to add that to my to-do list. Okay. Alright. So there's the shock pad I came for, obviously. Ooh, stuff's on the floor. A node! Awesome! So, you could probably upgrade on the way back. Uh, alright. So, with the circuit breaker... So the shock pad, we're gonna... Unpower the shock pad. Power the doors. Alright. Alright, we got the shock pad. I found a shock pad I can use on the barricade. I'm heading back there now. Watch the voltage on that pad. I'm not losing anyone else. Alright, so yeah, it's telling me to go out this door. Plant the explosive charge. They sandwich me again. <sighs> I 
I'm like so angry right now. Okay, let's get away from that door. All right, and the security station here has a save station that I'm gonna go ahead and use. All right, and then uh, I wanna blow this thing up. Okay, you're not gonna stand there, are you? Okay, yeah, absolutely. Uh, hopefully this little room protects me. Cool. All right. Uh, do I need to buy anything? Or sell anything. All right, so there. Schematics got loaded. We can now make stasis packs for a whopping 2,500 credits. Wow. And I do have a node, so I am going to want to use that. Okay, so I'm kind of running low on that ammo, uh, and I've got a lot of uh, plasma cutter ammo, so I'm going to switch over. All right, investigate emergency room. Which is right through there, I'm sure. Oh. There we go. I don't know. Maybe in some way it works better than the uh, rifle. Guess we're gonna go through the blasty door hidey hole. Remember, when you reach the morgue, find Captain Matthias's body. Get his rig codes, and the computer's all ours. For a minute, I thought that was him. I thought that was Hammond right there. This guy. Oh well. Uh, all right. Which way do we go? Right through that door. I think there's some stuff over here though. Like a stumpy box with some credits. Plasma cutter upgrade. I guess I have to go back to security clearance required. Okay. Okay. All right. So we've got a upgrade maybe, and I probably use that next time I go back to the store or something. Oh boy. Another big room. What's going on over there? Oh, there's some stuff over here. Like a stompy box with credits. Text log. <clears throat> Patient observations. Dr. B. Warwick, Chief Psych Officer. For patient Harris B. Harris is asleep. After another dose of sedative, he seems literally unable to sleep without chemical aid. Most people succumb to exhaustion after more than 50 hours of waking, regardless of circumstances. Not Harris. His bizarre explanation of the events on the colony points to the same paranoia we've seen elsewhere planet side. His guilt is not in doubt. His security officers were present when he took Dr. Shirello hostage and murdered Nurse Evans. And Harris doesn't deny his actions, but he shows no remorse. In fact, he insists there was no crime. Specifically, that Evans wasn't a nurse when he killed her. This is classic sociopathic behavior, but Harris exhibits no other symptoms. He is affable and friendly, able to empathize, and offer original opinions. When questioned about Evans' murder, however, he becomes withdrawn and uncommunicative. He claims the explanation is stuck in his mind and that talking about it mixes up its message. He also undergoes intermittent hallucinatory periods, again similar to those experienced by other colonists. During his long waking periods, Harris exhibits writing behavior. Harris exhibits writing behavior on any available surface. I, I didn't write it. Um, claiming that dreams need to speak and that he's attempting to make it whole again. What that means, I haven't determined yet. The dreams need to speak and that he's attempting to make it whole again. Given the complexities of his case, I plan to reach out to my colleagues for more insight. All right, great. You do that and you let us know how that goes. Okay. Is that my girlfriend? Move and transmit to all personnel. This is Senior Medical Officer Nicole Brennan. Medical is overwhelmed. We need help. Look at his wounds. 
We can't handle so many trauma cases, and the command crew won't tell us what's happening. Shit. Maybe I have some PHP left. Investigate emergency room. Following Nicole's hologram. Over there? Okay, first I think there's something on this bed. Yeah, let's look around for items and stuff. Ew, they're all gooey. Alright, I don't see anything over here really. Uh, looks like a power hole. <laughs> I don't really... I'm going to call those power holes. I don't really know what they're called. All right, pulse rounds. Cool. Uh, in fact, let's switch over to it real quick and make sure we're all loaded up. Okay, and then we'll grab whatever's in here. More pulse rounds, even. Feels a little tense in here. I might uh, stick with my pulse rifle just for a minute and switch back if I need to. Because I may need to blow some mofos apart. All right, so here's one of these uh, switch things. Uh, to remove the battery, ensure no power is being used on the circuit breaker. Okay, actually, like... Alright. Alright, so I think we're trying to send the signal to that side of the room. But first off, we've got the lights. We have to turn off the lights again. Oh, and it opened this up. Oh, hey, I got some pulse rounds. Okay. So that... That's a telekinesis prompt, right? Oh, secret room. Medical log, Dr. Nicole Brennan. So much for being paranoid. Mm, I repurposed mm. this room to run counseling sessions without unitologists interfering. Now it's the only place I feel safe. Unitologists. I recovered a limb after yesterday's attack. Genetically, it's human tissue with bizarre mutations. But it's just a sample. It's not enough to figure out a cure. I need... Wait, where's that report from engineering? Here. Engineers pulled something out of machinery. Limbs missing, torso intact. Okay. Time for a real autopsy. Okay. Turn it off. Okay, so we turn, we close both of the showers. Now we just have to take this. Across the room and put it up. Yep. It's an angry baby. Ah! Ah! Crud! Ah. <laughs> Football kick. Couldn't shoot the bullet out. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I think that might be my first death. Holy crow.
Anyone else? Uh, now I gotta try to find these monsters in the dark and see if they drop me anything. Uh, I'll tell you what, let's just pick up our engine. Let's try to put it over here in this empty power box. All right, cool. All right, let's go. Ooh, this is a long hallway full of bodies and bodies. Have anything else? Oh, here's something. False rounds, nice. Yeah, that explosive round thing with the pulse rival is just awesome. There we go. Oh, where'd you go? <laughs> Setting a little trap for me ahead, as what I uh, predict. So I need to go the way that the little monster is waiting for me. Great. Oh, that's interesting. Hope I don't have to call through that. Well, where'd you go, little buddy? Okay. Okay. Let's go here. Sign it. There's gonna be another one. I'm just like, oh, I'm so intense. God, this is so friggin' scary. It's so dark. Alright, so I just want to go through that door, but oh, what's this over here? Security request retrieved. He left me. I woke in the dark with them scratching in the walls. Scratching like rats. And you will lock me in with them. Fuck it. I'll cut them out. I'll cut them out. I'll cut them out. She's not having a great day. Alright, a med pack. What are the chances that I'm going to have to use it after I go down to the end of this aisle? This optional row that I chose to go down, despite my best instincts telling me just to go out the exit door. Which, of course, is what a smart person would do in a horror movie, but... I'm not the smart guy. Oh. Behind me? Yep. Another one. Some of them seem a little more sickly than others. Have you noticed that? Some of them are fast and furious and some of them are kind of strong and staggering around. Nice. Mercer, it's Terrence Kite. You were in surgery, so I left this with Warwick. He'll be discreet. I just got the latest report from Aegis 7. The situation's worse than Captain Matthias will admit. 40% of the colony's population is now showing symptoms. Depression, hallucinations, more violence. People are dying down there. I know it's linked to the marker somehow, but I just don't have enough data. Or sir, maybe I was wrong. We need answers by any means possible. That patient, Brent Harris, might be our last hope. Okay, Harris. Oh, what's, hey, what's going on? You're like alive. Can I go in here? Oh, hey, don't do that. No, no, I... Oh, my goodness. Why did you have to go and do that? Was it that severe, really? Oh, uh, she doesn't look well... Done. Okay. Okay, I kind of wish I hadn't seen that. Sorry. Sure, let's go that way. Um... Alright, let's see what's back in here. Ha, ah, save, save room. Oh, fried. Whoa, I guess I'm glad I wasn't blown out in space.
So with those babies, it looks like you need to cut off like two of their arms in order to uh, kill them. You don't have to do all three, fortunately. Maybe I'm also playing in medium mode, so that could be a factor. Put it in the power hole! Alright, I don't think I missed much back there. It's just a hallway, really. Pretty exciting hallway, though. Uh, oh, I'm in an elevator. Alright, let's do a weapons check. Because I think I'm about to... This is the morgue. And this place is also full of whispers. Great. Oh, it opened to show me a really nice piece piece of meat there. Great. Stompy box. Always makes me feel better to stomp a box. And another. Medical log. Dr. G. Domus, medical examiner, report of death on ship, subject Captain B. Matthias. It is my unfortunate duty to officially pronounce Captain Benjamin Matthias dead. Reports of the exact circumstances surrounding his death are conflicted and will be left for investigators to determine once we return to port. I will constrain my comments to the condition of the body. The subject was in generally good health for his age, though a cursory blood test indicates his leukocyte count was very low, with azeocyanophils in particular almost non-existent. His pre-flight physical exam showed no such problems, indicating rapid onset, but it does not appear to have had any effect on his death. Multiple contusions on the arms and... Hands indicate a brief struggle pre-mortem. Light contusions around the ribcage indicates he was restrained, likely for a brief period. Cause of death was a single prolonged trauma to the ocular body, which continued on through the cavity wall and into the frontal lobe, causing rapid neurotrauma, seizure, and death. The angle of penetration into the ocular cavity indicates the injury was not self-inflicted. Examination required the removal of the object to confirm cause of death, but it has been preserved for the investigative team to study. I therefore have no alternative but to record a preliminary verdict of unnatural death. Whether deliberate or accidental is beyond my jurisdiction. Oh, I hate morgues. Why do, why do games always have to take you to a morgue? I see something shiny over here, though. <sighs> All right. So I think our options are, oh, hey. Something here too, small med pack, and that requires security level one. Maybe the captain will have a security level, you think? All right, let's try this. Find the captain's body, completed. Oh, through the ocular cavity, through his eye, something stabbed him in the eye. Oh, what the heck? Oh, what is that thing? Oh, ooh, yeah. Uh oh, oh no, oh no, get, slide out, dude, dude. He's not trying to cuddle, slide out. Wow, that was fast. Nice, okay. Uh, maybe I should grab something else. Sorry, Captain. Woof. What? Why won't his arm give out? Ah, kill the Captain. Great. What? Oh my god, what is that thing?
God, he's so fast. I thought I was dead. I thought I was seriously dead. Holy crow. Oh my god, I have a, the next thing that hits me is gonna kill me. I have no health left. <laughs> I did that very badly. I just, I mean, it is so hard to move around and to escape from enemies. I mean, you're obviously not supposed to. You're in a very heavy suit, I would think. Uh, so sorry that I'm not showing you the best tactics to get through this, but wow, that was difficult. Captain's rig. Isaac, what's your status? Do you have the captain's rig? Fuck me! Ugh. Transmitting codes now. I saw it, Hammond. A flying one turned the captain's body into another one of those things. The same must have happened to Chin. God, maybe the command computer has something. Uh, where's Daniels when you need her? Head back to the security checkpoint. It's safer there. At least I can upgrade your clearance. Yeah, sure, buddy. Okay, now this door over here in the corner is mysteriously open. Clearance confirmed. Oh, I have security one. I have security one clearance now that I've got the captain's rig. It's just like I thought. says the Ishimura's engines are offline. We're on a decaying orbit toward Aegis 7. Oh god, I have to get to engineering. There's no time. That tram station's offline. Unless... Here, head back to the flight deck. I'll guide you from there. If this damage report's right, there's a shortcut to engineering. Go to security station. All right. Oh, go to the hangar bay. Oh, here I am. Oh, and here I am in my favorite room. Great. Uh, can I buy a med pack? Oh, I have a lot of credits now. Oh, I can actually buy a med pack and a node. Interesting. Man, a node though. I should probably stock up on med packs and just get a node for another time, right? All right, I'm going to get two of these and see if I can't heal myself up with the two of them. Oh, that well, it got me up to like half, but man, that was not as good as I thought. Okay, we think we're gonna go spend some more money on uh, on some med packs. Ooh, health does sure take a bite. Healthcare isn't cheap. Okay, so that was two. And do I have one left? I've got one left. Alright. Get on the tram, okay. And here we go. Alright, so we want to go back to flight deck tram control. Go back to tram control, right? 
All right, are we moving? Oh yeah, the lights are going. That's cool. Now arriving at flight deck, tram control. Doesn't take too long. And here we are. There we go. Yeah. Isaac, this damage report says there's a broken cargo lift just beyond the hangar doors. I'll open them now. Entering zero gravity. You'll need your thrusters to reach it, but that lift shaft should take you straight down to engineering. Alright, so we've completed chapter two. Okay, so I'm pushing down on my left stick to activate my thrusters. I think it wants me to go in there. There we go. Oh, crud! And the other one? Oh, I need oxygen. All right, cool. You got anything for me after you took all my stuff, all my uh, oxygen? All right, now what do I do? Oh, there's an explosive. All right, so what are we gonna do here? Okay, I've really got to go. I'm not going to make it. I'm not going to make it. Oh my god. I'm going to die right here at the end. Oh, thank goodness. I just barely made it. Ah, uh, so that was uh, thrilling, and uh, I didn't do very well by Isaac today. Uh, this was kind of a challenging one. Hey, thanks for watching the video. I know I didn't do very well by Isaac today, but uh, hopefully I'll do better in the next episode. If you enjoyed yourself, uh, please click the like button and consider subscribing for more content just like this on Double Back for Ammo. Have a great day.